Hey what's up guys, Arava here and welcome back to another video on the F1 2020 game and today we have a bit of a different one-off kind of casual video as you can see by the title and the thumbnail maybe. We are going to see how slow 0% AI is on the F1 2020 game. Now I had some fun with 0% AI like literally two or three months ago on the back end of the 2019 game cycle testing that out with a few challenges so I thought let's dive into it early doors and see how slow 0% AI is because because at some points in the last week, it really looked like Ferrari were set on 0% AI. So you've got to test these things. All right, just to show you guys here, 0% AI. We're going to go to a 25% race around Britain Short. I'm going to have to do quali quickly just to get to the back of the grid. Because that will be the best way, I think, to uh, basically go a lap down. And also, we're going to have to turn off uh, the rules. So I don't actually get a red flag. Well, not a red flag. A disqualification. There's no red flags. Disqualification uh, for just sitting there on the grid. Uh, and we'll keep everything else. We'll keep safety guard on. I doubt there will be one, to be fair, but we'll keep that on. Uh, and we're going to use a controller, as I always do with these more casual videos. I never use a wheel when it's more of a casual video, because it's yeah, it's a bit too serious, in my opinion, for these kind of videos. So we'll just go on the controller, and uh, we'll see how we go. Right, here we are then for this strangest start to a British Grand Prix you're ever going to see as we go to fire it lights, and we are off but not off because we're just going to stay put and just chill and that man on the right is going to be very confused but uh yeah we just um chill out you know uh Hamilton's just so so OP at Silverstone we just had to take a breather give everyone else a chance you know we're gonna look at that podium up there uh that's where we're gonna be at the end of the race so just you know taking that in you know, we've got the best fans out here. Want to give them a show. Really see the car nice and, you know, all those photographers in the grandstands. Those amateur photographers take uh, some nice close-up shots of this uh, lovely black Mercedes livery. Yeah, she's taking nice and easy. And here we go. Here, finally. Here they are. Right. You ready, kids? They're all going to stick to the racing line, I hope. And as soon as we are lapped by the last car, we're going to get going. So I'm going to go down to neutral, actually. Get ready and go. And we are on the way for our Grand Prix, which is uh, a very weird one. Um, and here we are then, trying to catch up. First of all, we're just going to have to be catching up to 0% AI, but I don't think that should be much of an issue as we're already going to catch up to them in Village somewhat. But the real issue is going to be lapping them cleanly and then going to overtake them um, uh, yeah, the, the other way around, basically. Because last time when I did this on F1 2019, the issue was... Um, basically, I hit, I think I hit someone in the midfield as I was lapping them. And so I had to change my front wing of the pit stop, which uh, wasted some time. But here we go. Clean overtake round the outside. Going to go for the dive down the inside of Giovinazzi and Grosjean. Oh, no. Okay. That was close. That was close. Of course, I had to be Roman Grosjean. But uh, going, to over uh, going to try and lap him. Russell was doing bits here in, in, in P15. Uh, very lofty height for the Williams car. Maybe it was wet in qualifying as we cut the corner horrendously there. Uh, don't mind me as we go down the inside of Russell's well. Right, Village, purple first sector, as you would imagine. Not too surprised at that um, that uh, development as we go down the inside of Raikkonen. Nicely done, just down the inside. Get Gasly, don't tangle with him. Don't get into any sort of entanglement with him of any sort, uh, like we did at the French GP in my team career. Close up to Kvyat, round the outside. Oh, Stroll and uh, Ocon are battling. We go round that to the Norris, dive on the right, and then go to the left of Ocon. Beautiful stuff here. They really are very, very slow. But actually, this is... I don't know. I don't want to speak too early. This seem, They seem a lot slower than uh, the 2019 0% AI were. I can't lie. Maybe it's just Silverstone. Maybe it's just because the Mercedes car is this much better against everyone versus the Ferrari on last year's game. Oh, my. And it's got a very indestructible front wing, I must say, as well. That was very close. As Perez holds up Albon, an absolute treat. Uh, he, that's what he was hoping to do at Austria. Not the case. Right, DRS overtake all these guys. Leclerc struggling for grip. We're going to go on the right-hand side of him. Uh, easy does it. Squeezes me a little bit, you know. And then we close up to Sebastian Vettel. Uh, to, be, uh, to be fair, uh, this is just the natural pace, like I said, of the Ferrari cars. This will be the pace when they come to Silverstone for those two Grand Prix, which I'm very much looking forward to having two at Silverstone. Not just because you know, it's like two British Grand Prix, just because it's a nice track, obviously, to come to twice. And we ha we've had some fantastic racing around Silverstone in the last few years. And you never know with the rain, you know, there could be a very exciting uh, double act. You know, if one race is dry, one race is wet. We're hoping for that Austria. It didn't quite come. It came in 
qualifying, of course, but it would have been sick to have like a wet race for a second one, but um, you can't get everything you wanted. I mean, we all had a good laugh anyway with the uh, the way the steering Grand Prix went. As we overtake now, Verstappen squeezing me out down the inside of Bottas. Yes, there we go. Right, we have officially... Uh, unlapped ourselves. Now, this is where the real race begins. Time to do some qualifying laps. Rich mix and get going because we've got to catch back up to this grid. Hopefully, as we make the pit stop, basically. Right, we've been pushing very hard, team. We've been pushing very hard. And now we're going to pit on lap eight. We are just about catching them, uh, but not quite. So this maybe on this lap. Uh, we'll do it there. Didn't quite make the pit, uh, pit lane uh, limiter there. I'm going to be honest. There was maybe four miles per hour in it. But with no rules, we've got no penalty there. But we've been pushing pretty flat out. Um, and we were about 10 seconds away, I think it was, from the next car. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So on this lap, we should catch them. On this lap, I hope. But then we've got... And our teammate's in. Bottas is there. He's, uh, he's still almost a whole lap ahead of us. This is close, you know. I've chosen a very bad track, actually. I've challenged myself quite a lot here. Compared to USA Short, when we did this challenge, USA Short's a bit of a longer lap compared to Silverstone. So this one is actually going to be a real squeeze if I can actually do this. And I want to stress the entire time, just in case, I I've been sticking to track limits. There are no rules, but I've been sticking to track limits and, you know, sticking in the, in the guidelines. So I haven't just been cutting, like, all the corners, basically, to catch up time here. So we've been trying this legit... And now Giovinazzi, he's the first man we overtake. He's very slow. Maybe he's got a puncher. I think that is, maybe. He's, he's gone a little bit too long on the tyres. So uh, we've already got up to P19, but we've only got, what's that, three laps left to do this. All right, here we go. And here's how, here's how you know I'm uh, sticking to the track limits. We've got red first sector. That was a really not that great. Purple second, though. Going faster and faster as so we just keep on finding the groove. And also the tyre where was kicking in a little bit on the soft tyre. Oh, Magnussen, get out of the way. No, I could have carried way more apex speed there. Way more. We cannot waste apex speed. That's basically it. We cannot waste the speed at which I come at these corners. So right, here we go. Go around the outside, I think. Or to the inside. Here we go. ERS. Right, P8, P17. Come on. Yes, I know, Jeff. P15. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Right, can in slow. No, going to meet him at the apex. Awkward. Get through. Yes. Lovely. Right, no. Around the outside. Going to have to be wide line. DRS, ERS, everything, RS. Maybe, uh, maybe Toys R Us are sponsored by 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 by, by uh, sponsoring this game. R Us. It makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of RSs going on. It's not R Us exactly, but you know what I was going for. All right now, it's show time. Come on, a bit more ERS there. We've only got two laps left, so I'm going to pretty much use most of it now. Catching up to P10. This is going to be very fine. Got to get to the inside of Lando. Got it. Skate through. Keep the momentum there. Ah, a little bit slow. Come on. Rich mix. Where's the DRS? Didn't get DRS. Are you kidding me? No, no. This is not good. In a straight line, they're okay. Big dive. Ah, move. Signs, signs, move. Signs, move. I've got to catch Verstappen or whoever that Red Bull is. And basically, I've got it. Ah, uh, I've got to get them with DRS. I need, D I need DRS. I'm not going to get it, though, am I? Albin... Oh, around the outside of him. P5. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, we tried so hard. They're right there. Come on. I'm running out of fuel as well. I'm using all the ERS. Come on. No. Not like this. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Oh, this is... Oh, we should have done USA. We could have definitely done USA. Silverstone's a bit too short to do this challenge, I think. But we tried our best. We couldn't get... Ah, oh, we couldn't even get the podium. Oh, no. Oh, well, that is how slow 0% AI are. I said they were maybe slower at the start, but I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I think they are slower. So to answer the question, are 0% AI slower or, you know, what, what, what are they like? I think they are slower. It was just a case of, if you look at the distance of USA short to Britain short, it's a shorter layout, 25% race. It's a bit arbitrary when it's a short version of the Grand Prix, but it's very arbitrary. So I think, um, you know, the, just the distance alone meant that we couldn't do it. But we were probably only two laps away from getting first place there. But that's the whole point of these kind of casual, more 
or silly kind of just, you know, easygoing videos is sometimes we ask questions and sometimes we don't get the correct answer or we don't succeed at the experiment or challenge we do. That's the name of the game. Just kind of have a bit of fun with it. So guys, if you did enjoy this video and concept, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Do you want to see me do some more 0% AI challenges in the future with like the no breaking that we did? That was quite a popular one with no breaking we did on the last game. So do you want to see that uh, coming through? And also, the, you know, those classic experiments, let me know which ones you want to see. And, you know, within the next month or so, I'll start uploading those kind of videos. Obviously, the focus right now is on my team, but I do want to start now slowly doing those one-off videos and having some fun here and there as well, of course. But till then, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. If you are new around here, do get subscribed. Till then, goodbye.